Hey, good morning guys. It's Aaron. Welcome back to the ranch. I finally got all the stuff I need to use the box blade. So I'm going to attempt to do that today. This is not a tutorial or instructional. I've never used a box blade before. I've never even hooked it up to the tractor. In fact, I never had to unhook the brush hog from the Massey and I haven't needed to unhook the brush hog from the LS yet. So Today will be the first day I do that and I'll hook up the box blade. So like GP Outdoors says, grab a coffee, I've got mine, stick around. I'll try to do this in the shade. It's, um, it's not hot yet, but it's pretty humid today. We were supposed to have storms last night. The clouds rolled in, but we didn't actually get any rain, but it cooled everything off. So I went to the tractor supply and I got some pins for my ripper shanks. It's a half inch pin. The problem I have with it is I can actually wiggle it all the way through. I don't think it's going to be such a huge problem once there's weight on it. Uh, I looked for a 916 and I couldn't find one so um, hopefully this will work. If nothing else, I could potentially drill a hole in this end and put a cotter pin. I found this um, assorted linchpin set on Amazon. And I bought it, I don't know, a long time ago. I've never had to use it yet, but it's got all these, all these linchpins. So I'm definitely going to replace the cotter pin with these as much as possible. If I've got the right size, I'm knowing my luck, it, <laughs> it'll be too big or something. Because cotter pens are, they're just, they just kind of suck. That's why somebody invented the linchpin. Yeah. It won't go in there. So I'm stuck with the cotter pens. This is the smallest linchpin I've got. It won't fit. So, you know, whatever. What are you going to do? I'll just bring a pair of pliers for this. So we've got a lot of grass coming up in the driveway. The problem is we've got random patches of asphalt everywhere. Like this, this is a big one in front of the, uh, in front of the driveway or the, the carport. There's another one out there. Where is it at? Right there. Right there is all asphalt, and then randomly on the right side of the driveway all the way up to the street. And then we've got some over here. So I don't think I can successfully do this without hitting the asphalt. However, there is a small area over here. We have a couple of parking spots. We've got the blocks there. Uh, I don't think there's any asphalt over here. And I think I could better define the edge of the driveway right here. So my goal is, I'm just going to work in this little small area. I'm going to get the rippers down. I'm going to try to pull all that gravel up to the top. And then go from there. As I said, I've never box bladed before. So uh, it looks like the edge of the driveway. It's about where I'm standing. I am wearing shoes today. I don't know why, but I think you can kind of see the line. It's, it's not as green. So I, that's what I'm going to work with. I suppose the first thing I should do is get the brush hog off. I'm pretty sure I talked about this before. There's a bolt in there. I'm pretty sure that's a shear bolt. The thing about that one is I've only ever seen shear bolts on the gearbox side because there's usually like a little, a little, uh, not really a pin. There's like a little button you press to lock the drive shaft on the PTO shaft. So I'm not really sure how that's going to look when I get in there. So let me get this thing off and we'll go from there.
That was relatively easy. It's probably harder to hook it up. Considering getting a quick hitch at some point, just for the box blade and this thing, maybe the hay spike when I start needing it more regularly. I'll tell you what, it's pretty nice not having to worry about what's on the back of the tractor when I turn it around. So one thing I think is pretty cool, I got an extra pin on each side. And I put a little two by eight right here. When I drop that thing, I don't really want to get the crushed limestone in there. I'm going to have to clean that out later and uh, grease it up a little bit. So now this is the tricky part. We'll see how close I get at this the first time. This box blade is not so heavy that I can't pick up one end and scoot it. I guess I'm pretty strong. Maybe it's lighter than I thought. I don't know. So we're going to see how this goes. Not a terrible first attempt. So I got these, these pins. They're a little long, but better too long than too short. I only tried them in the box blade. I did not try them on the three point. So we'll, uh, <laughs> this could be interesting. Well, that's not going to work. That was hard work. I put all the um, pins in the bottom hole, which sat the rippers up. So I just had to change them all. I think I got them all ready to go. My top link is as short as it can possibly be. These things are sticking down. I've got replaceable blades here and on the inside. Let's see if I can get under there can see all the huge bolts that hold those two things on. So what I'd like to do at some point, maybe this winter, I want to take both of those things off, sand down the surface rust, and then repaint this thing. Not that it really matters what it looks like, but it'll be it'll give me something to do. So here's what we've got. I'm not really trying to scoop any of the gravel out of the way. I'm just trying to, to break it up and bring the gravel back to the top and get rid of some of the grass. I realize it's a relatively short path, but I wanted to do it across once or, you know, a few times and then start going that way. Also, I'm an idiot. I was thinking 
when these things kept falling down, I was like, maybe I should uh, pin them in here. And as it turns out, what is that? That's a hole for the pin to go through. Awesome. So I guess I'm gonna redo that before I continue. All right, I'm all set. Again, not a tutorial, not an instructional, just me using a box blade for the first time. Not afraid to make a mistake as long as it doesn't break anything or cost me, <laughs> cost me a lot of money. So those rippers probably went down a good inch and a half, two inches when I actually put the pins in correctly. And I was thinking while I was driving, I was like, man, I've seen other videos where the guys get the, the rippers down and that back inside blade doesn't even touch the ground. So maybe this will allow me to do that because I'm just, A, I'm trying to focus, B, I'm just trying to break up the gravel and get it up to the top and get rid of the grass and stuff like that. So let's give this another shot. Did you guys see how much better that was? I even had to put it in four wheel drive. That's how awesome that was. I even spun my one rear wheel. I am uh, not even gonna mess with the diff lock. I'm just gonna put it in four. I'm in low first gear now, the lowest gear I've got. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this a couple more times. Really get all that gravel up to the top. I'm thinking I need to do everything with the scarifiers first, as much of a pain in the ass it is to change the height or take them out. I'm going to do everything with the, uh, with the rippers first and then I'll pull them up and then I'll try to smooth it out. Smooth it out now. You could play Angry Birds. What do you think, boss? You could play Angry Birds. Yeah? I could play something. What do you think? I, I think it looks nice. I think we should um, get some more of that landscape border and put it along the whole way. It comes in 40 foot rolls, so I don't think we'd need that many of them. You mean the barrier? The weed barrier? Mm -hmm. To define it. If you want to define it, we need to put uh, railroad ties or something. I think the barrier will work. Maybe, or I could just do this a couple times a year. I think 
guess. I don't know that it actually is any better than it was before I started. I, 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 I. Exactly. <laughs> exactly what's happening in my head. Okay, so I think the, um, a lot of the gravel is starting to come up to the top, unfortunately. So is the clay, <laughs> because we have clay here. And apparently I've got um, some bigger, bigger rocks than I thought. And I actually over here, I got a, I got a rock in my shoe. Over here, I didn't think there's asphalt way up here, but I hit a couple of pieces of it. I think I'm going to have to uh, drop the box blade on that a couple of times and see if I can break it up. It seems like it's breaking up into smaller pieces as I drive over it. So, I don't know, I guess I'll, I'll figure that out. But I think it's finally, uh, finally starting to actually see some progress, like especially right here. You know, the grass was growing out about four feet. And now it's mostly gravel up here. And it's, um, I guess it's coming along. This is a slow process. All right, guys, I have let my top link out a significant amount. Might have been too far. I'm leaving the rippers down. I want to start smoothing this stuff out. It's not really making a lot of difference when I go through my passes anymore. I think I've got it pretty well broken up. So I want to try to keep the rippers down, but I still I want to try to smooth it out as I go. So we'll see how this goes. This is turning into an all day job. I should have done that other driveway that we don't drive on all the time. <laughs> I think I'm done. I've been out here way too long. The area right there in the middle, it's got bigger rocks. I don't know where those came from. I'm gonna have to let those get compacted down. When I go over with the box blade, it just bounces them up again. I finally found the float, and that was the, the difference. The difference maker. I also found a spoon for Beth to dig her succulents with. That's what, uh, that's what she uses. So I definitely moved a bunch of stuff around. You can see I've got that big piece of asphalt in here, a couple of them. I wasn't trying to drag them all the way up, but it just kind of happened. Some mighty fine work you did, honey. Thanks, I worked hard. So what's your opinion? Does it look worse than when I started? No, I think, I think it almost looks like we got a load of gravel. Really? Yeah. I appreciate you saying that even if you're humoring me. No, I mean it really does. Okay, good. I just wish this part matched, but obviously this is all asphalt and yeah. weird. We need like a jackhammer or whatever, but yeah. no, I think it looks really nice. Thanks. I'm impressed. Really? Mm -hmm. That was my first try. It is really hard to blend it from a surface that you can move with the box blade to an immovable surface. No, so, I think it. I, th I think you blended very well. As it gets driven on and as it rains, it'll settle, mm -hmm. and um, should look hopefully better as time goes on. I think it looks nice. Thanks. Would you like to say hello to the YouTube? Hi YouTube! I have broccoli in my teeth because I just ate broccoli. No, you don't. Smile, I'll tell you if you No! <laughs> okay, say goodbye. Bye, YouTube. Okay, so I got a spider web on my lens. You really have to do this to appreciate the nuance. 
I should have started at 6.30 when I got up. I waited until 8.30 or 9. That was, <laughs> that was a mistake. It's still not that hot. We got some clouds coming over and I'm hoping to catch a couple sprinkles because man, I could use it. So once again, this was not a tutorial. This is just me using a box blade for the first time. Um, I wasn't really worried about how level it is. I leveled the, the three point arms for the brush hog. So the box blade should have been level as long as the tractor was level. So I'm not really worried about a crown because the whole thing kind of slopes down toward the, the rest of the property. Obviously, I think this would have been a lot easier if I had done the other driveway, which is what, 10 feet wide or something. I make a couple of passes back and forth, adjust my three points so that it's, you know, at an angle to one side, and go down one side a couple times, go down the other side a couple times. It would have been a lot easier working where these parking spaces are in the corner particularly. Uh, it was kind of a pain, but if I need to get back out here, next time it rains I'll see where the puddles are and I'll it actually might make it easier since we haven't we haven't had any rain in a, about a week. So I can always go back over it. The big question is does it look better than when I started? I'm going to flash a screenshot up right now. And here's the finished product. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I think that's it for me. I'm going to go get some more diesel and a couple of pizzas and have a couple drinks. Hopefully Beth is on board with that plan. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.